Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now today is the last day of the month of May. Praise God. Now, has the year been so far? Now, this is the fifth month of the year ending today. Has God been good to you? Let me tell you this truth. It is the word of God that gives us hope in all that we do. If you don't have the word of God, you will not know what to even expect. It is the word of God that gives us sight. See? John tells us in him, in who? In the word, see? It says in him was life and the life was the light of men. So if, the, if you have the word of God, it means you have life. And that life gives you light. What does that mean? It shows you what direction you should always take in life. I've always said this. The whole essence of the word of God being in our lives, the whole essence of praying, the whole essence of fellowshipping with God, reading your Bibles, going to church, going for Christian meetings, the whole essence is that we live a quality life. Now, how do you live a quality life? by the decisions you make. So the word of God influences your decision. Now this is what happens to every one of us. Everything that, that the outcome of your life is completely, in, in, is completely going to be because of the kind of decisions you make every day. Everything about your life. That's what the Bible says, the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Or another say it is not it's not about how fast you can run. It's not about how smart you are. But there is something about everyone which the Bible say time and chance happens to everybody. You know what that means? God is giving everyone the same opportunity. Everyone receives the same opportunity. So sometimes you find people who say, oh, I wish I was born in a different circumstance. Or some even say, I wish I was born in a better country. Not this, our country, Nigeria. <laughs> you know, you've heard people talk like that. Some say, oh, I wish uh, my parents were doing better than they did, you know, when I was raised up. I wish, listen to me, everybody, big, small, rich, poor, everybody is given the same opportunities. That's what the scripture means when it says time and chance happens to everybody. So why are some people doing well and others not doing well? Decisions. Decisions. Now we pray to influence our decision or to make quality decisions. We study God's word, understand his principle, understand his mind. To make quality decisions. Until you begin to take decisions, you will never see your life change. If you just think, I will just pray and pray and pray and pray, and then I will expect a miracle. I will pray and pray and pray, and then I will expect a miracle. The miracle will come by certain decisions that you take. Even the supernatural works by decisions. Now that is why God gives instructions. You understand what I'm saying? So if God gives you an instruction, you will have to take that decision to obey the instruction or not to obey the instruction. The good thing about it is the instruction God gives you is to help you run faster. So those without God sort out their way by themselves. But when God is in your life, he gives you instructions. And if you keep following his instructions, you are, your life is going to be smooth. Your journey is going to be straight. Those without that, that instruction from God, they will have a bumpy ride. Sure, they will have a bumpy So they walk by what we call luck. And guess what? Eventually, it's just a matter of time that they will take a decision that will bring them down. But you, the Bible tells us that the path of, a, of the just is as a shining light that shines br brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. Now, how does that happen? Because the just man 
makes quality decisions. How do I know that? He says the just man lives by faith. What is faith? Faith is simply responding to the word of God. So he says faith comes by hearing and hearing the voice of God. So God speaks to you by instructions. God speaks to you by wisdom. God speaks to you by opening your understanding. And when that understanding comes to you, what does it do to you? It makes, helps you make quality decisions. For example, God comes and says, look, I have blessed you. And you believe him. Then the next moment, here is an opportunity for you to steal. You look around, nobody is watching. I can just do this thing quietly and nobody is even going to think about it. But then you remember, but God has said to me that he has blessed me. Hmm, should I wait for this blessing that I believe it will come? Or should I be fast and still and jeopardize this blessing that God has spoken to me about? Now that is where you have to take a decision. And you tell yourself, no, I won't steal. Father, you said you have blessed me, so I'm not going to steal. I walk in the blessing that you have given to me. That is decision. And what happens when you make those kind of decisions, you just, be, because that's what you show, how you show that you believe God. Let me read something to you in Romans chapter 4. Talking about Abraham, Romans chapter 4 and verse 19. Romans 4 and verse 19. It says, And being and not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead. Decision. He did not consider his own body dead. See? God spoke to him and said, Sarah, your wife, will give birth. Now he could have like, huh? Look at it. He says he did not consider his own body dead, already dead since he was about a hundred years old. And the deadness of Sarah's womb, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. But was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what he had promised is able to also perform and therefore it was accounted to him for righteousness see he was an old man and god says hey you will have a son you will have a son through sarah now now of course he i mean what are you talking about actually when god told him that if you study the book of genesis the bible says he fell on the ground and laughed the laugh was too too heavy that he fell on the ground laughing. The imagination, the thought of Sarah being pregnant, it was a laughing matter. But God kept his word. Now, but the Bible says he wasn't weak in faith. He did not stagger the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong or he was strengthened in faith. What does it mean strengthened in faith? He had heard God, so he strengthened himself. What have God told you this year? Are you persuaded? Are you, are you fully convinced that the one who spoke to you is able to do what he has said? Are you convinced? If you are convinced, how do we know you are convinced? It will affect your decision making in life. The month of May is ending today. What are you going to do? See, how has the year been for you? If it has not been the way you want it to be, do you know you can change it? How do you change it? By the decisions you make and starting those decisions from today. God always gives us opportunity to start again. Yeah, he always gives us the opportunity to start again. Now, that's why he made days, he made weeks, he made months, he made, he made years. You understand what I'm saying? So, so even if you have missed it, a new month begins tomorrow. You can make that decision. Say, okay, you know what? From tomorrow, I'm going to start walking faithfully 
before God. Now that doesn't mean you wait, okay, I can, let me do my last silly things today. So from tomorrow I start, you've not made that quality decision. The moment you make that decision, your life starts immediately. Now why you say from tomorrow? Because tomorrow is the 1st of June, see? And by the way, we are going to be having our 24 hour prayer and fasting tomorrow, starting from tonight. So the fast starts from tonight, 12 midnight. And we're going to be praying all through the day, according to the watches. So we're praying by 12 midnight, we're praying by 3 a.m., we're praying by 6 a.m., and then 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and 9 p.m. Praise God. We're going to be praying at every watch. Prayer meeting is going to be via Zoom for those of you who have never attended. The information is on the screen. You can join us. Start the month is a fresh start. And if you've already been walking perfectly before God, it's still a fresh start for a new level for you. Praise God. Yeah. So you set your heart to it. I'm going to start this month consecrating the first day of the month. Now that's why we do that. We consecrate the first day of the month before the Lord. And we, you see, we make that day holy. How do we make it holy? We say, Lord, we are going to spend today in fasting and in seeking and understanding your mind for the month. Now, when you do that, you know what God does for you? He takes up the whole month for you and consecrates it wholly for you. Meaning the only things that will happen through the month are the only things that God has ordained and allowed for you. And we know the thoughts of his heart are good towards us, not evil. So if God tells me, look, I'm going to give you anything, I shouldn't be in doubt that is going to be good. Praise God. Say, say, I won't be thinking this one God say anything. What if it's a bad thing? He can't think bad things concerning me. He can't imagine bad thoughts concerning me. All his thoughts concerning me, they are good. So when I, when I consecrate the first day, deliberately, he's going to bless the whole month for me. Praise God. He's going to keep me through the month. Because the principle What's the principle? If the first day is holy, then the rest of the days are holy also. So you can join us. What are those things that you want to see in the month of June? What are those miracles that you want to see? You can get every one of them. You can get every one of them. See, God gave us this instruction about a year ago. That every first of the month, we should fast for 24 hours and trust him for the month and see what he's going to do. And we've seen the hand of God in our lives. Praise God. We've got lots of testimonies coming in. Let this month be your month. That you will be fully persuaded. Let this month be the month that you will walk perfectly in all that what, what, all, all that God has planned for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to pray for you now. And I believe even today, before the end of today, there's a miracle you've been expecting for this month. It will still come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, I release my faith. And I join it with everyone watching me right now. And I declare that every expectation that they had for the month of May, supernaturally right now, a work is being done in their lives and that miracle is coming to pass right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I really want to see you tonight at 12 midnight West African time. Join us and you will be blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.